Hello everyone, my name is Eric, owner of OGT Cigars, and today I have the top five picks for all of you. You are watching Oakland Tobacconist. Welcome everyone to Oakland Tobacconist, where we make the hard to find within reach. I have a lineup of five cigars. This is a sampler pack that is now available at oaklandtobacconist.com. If you're interested in these cigars or any others that got a high rating from all of our OGT family, check us out at oaklandtobacconist.com. So every year we compile a list, much like most people in the industry, who will compile their list of top lists. Top, of course, you have the most famous cigar aficionado or half wheel that have their top 25. You have uh, a bunch of other people throughout the industry. Well, we do the same. We do a top 10. However, the top cigars chosen for the year of 2021 are not decided, nor is it dictated by me. In fact, it's dictated by all of you. So if you've made an order from us in the past, or if you've come up to the shop, if you're a part of our community here, you are able to vote on your favorite cigars that have come through the OGT Humidor. So in the month of December, we have the ballots available. You then vote on your top three cigars, which you've enjoyed from our humidor. We take that list, combine them all together, and your number one pick is worth a certain amount of points, your number two a certain amount, and then finally your number three. Tallying all those points up, we then get our top cigars of the year. This is really exciting for me because we get to see what the commonalities are between people's palates, what cigars come up more often than others, and then we get our top list. Now our top 10 included amazing cigars that we've seen and that are staples here at OGT. We saw the Viaticum, we saw the Gran Habano Corojo 5, the Guardian of the Farm from Aganorsa, and of course several others. But now we're coming down to the top five. I wanted to create the OGT top five list, make it available for all of you to try and see where your palette lines up with the common vote that was given. So without further ado, we will delve right into it. And something that makes me very excited about this is we have a pretty well diverse amount of cigars here. They're not all Maduros, they're not all Connecticut's, they're, they're pretty spread out. And so we're gonna dive right into it and we were gonna see what our top picks are for the year of 2021. Coming in at number five, we have a favorite company here at the shop, a favorite company of mine, it happens to be, and one of my most favorite Connecticut's. Number five is the Corona Gorda Porcelain from Black Label Trading Company. This cigar has the smooth, mild creaminess that most people want from their Connecticut, but also the punchy richness that many enjoy from Black Label Trading. This is a five and a half by 48 Corona. It has a flag on the top of the head right here, band foot saying it's porcelain, and then of course Deliverance, the white label on the main top. I absolutely love this Connecticut. It has those flavor aromas that are somewhat richer in the earthy side, some woodsy notes, and then of course some toasted almond sweetness that really wraps it together with a little bit of creaminess on the finish. If you guys have not tried this Connecticut, I can't recommend recommended enough. It is a awesome favorite of mine and it's a perfect coffee pair. Porcelain is one of the cigars that simply pop with coffee. That is our number five Porcelain Corona. Coming in at number four, this company has been with us since the beginning. Nick Melillo does an amazing job and it made me so very happy to see this be dropped on the list. And that is none other than the Havana Seed Tabernacle from Foundation Cigars. You've seen me review this cigar. You've seen me talk about Nick Melillo before. There is a reason that he made his way onto this list. This particular wrapper leaf is very rare, very different tasting, and so very rich in flavor. For those who are fans of the original Liga 9 by Drew Estate, the original Tabernacle that Melillo created, you're going to want to try the Havana Seed. I've sometimes uh, described it as like a red velvet cake with like cayenne pepper on top, but it is a medium plus in strength, full bodied in smoke. This is a phenomenal cigar and could not be happier to see it make its way onto this list. It's also one of the more rare cigars that you're gonna see out there. Coming in at number three. And once again, we see Black Label Trading Company making its way onto a list. This is the Black Label Trading Salvation Toro 6x52. This Salvation is an Ecuadorian sun-grown. It has good spice to it, good earth to it, a lot of like mellow sweet notes when you come to the mid section, but I would still say medium plus in strength. It is an excellent representation of sun-grown tobacco from Ecuador, 
and the construction is on point. It burns perfectly, smoke output is amazing, and it comes in at our number three. If you guys have tried or are fans of Black Label, I definitely recommend Salvation being one of them. It's just a very accessible cigar for most people, whether your palate is on the stronger side, the more mild side, it's sure to please with the flavor notes that you get from it. It won't be too overbearing, but it has enough to offer for that like full-bodied sensation. So that is the Salvation Toro 6x52. And now we come down to the last two. Now, this was also somewhat of a surprise to me in one way and not a surprise in another. I say this because this is a favorite brand here at the shop, and we've had it since almost the beginning as well, and it continues to be a big favorite. This cigar size that we're uh, showing is uh, was released to our OGT Cigar Society where we take really special sticks and we, uh, we release them to our society. You get a five pack so you can try them. And it seems like it was the common favorite. So number two coming in is American Viking Filthy Viking Lancero. This is a seven by 38 Lancero. You've probably seen me uh, review this cigar before. You've probably seen me review the uh, the different sizes. And I've said before, it has a lot of graham cracker sweetness. Well, you have all that, but so much more in the Lancero size. The Lancero offers this richness of wrapper. A lot of people see this cigar and they think it's a Connecticut. It's actually a Habano, a creamy, sweet, graham cracker sweet Habano. There's so much that this particular size offers. It's more punchy, it's got fuller flavor, smoke output is amazing. If you're a fan of Lanceros, this is one you do not want to miss. It is our cigar number two of the year, 2021, and it's there for a reason. Everyone, I hope you enjoy this Filthy Viking Lancero as much as I do. And finally, cigar number one. We collected all the votes. We saw this cigar pop up not only as people's favorites, but also votes number two and number three multiple times across the board. It went way out in front. There was not even a cigar that came close to the rating. And so it brings me great happiness, joy, and pleasure to announce OGT Cigar of the Year yet again is an American Viking stick. This time we see the Liga Zebra Barber Pole from American Viking 6x52 Toro. I just have to say, this barber pole is one of the best constructed barber poles I have ever had the pleasure of smoking. It burns well, it smokes well. I love the fact that it's a close foot. I always enjoy that rustic feel to it, that ode to tradition. And Liga Zebra delivers in this banana nut creaminess, sweetness. You're gonna find it more on the mild edging to medium side. Body is gonna be more on the medium plus. But it also, it appeals to if you want to pair it with a like delicate scotch, if you want to pair it with a sweeter bourbon, or even a coffee. It's very moldable and accessible to many, many palates. And that's probably why we saw it come across the ballot so often. That is the Liga Zebra Cigar of the Year for OGT in the year of 2021. Well, there you have it, folks. That is the top five lineup here at OGT, voted by popularity, not just by myself. If you would like this sampler, it is available at oaklandtobacconist.com. I encourage you to head on over to our website, pick the sampler up while we have them. They're in limited supply, and you can try and test your palate against what was voted the most popular. Drop down in the comments, what was one of your favorite cigars you saw in this last year? And I would love to hear what that's like and why it made its top list. As always, I am Eric. Thank you again for joining and smoking with me here on the channel at Oakland Tobacconist.